Hello. Thank you again for tuning in to this week's Clark Planetarium Engineering Challenge. This week we will be making solar ovens. Solar ovens are an excellent way to cook food and are easier on the environment. And if it's a hot summer day, will not heat up your house by turning on the oven. One of the coolest qualities of solar ovens is the fact that it does not matter what temperature outside is. It is all about collecting sunlight and causing it to bounce around inside of the oven and be absorbed by the food to cook it. These reasons are why solar ovens have been used throughout history by many different cultures. There are various solar ovens for purchase, but today we challenge you to make your own. To understand why sunlight is important for solar cooking, we need to understand that light has energy. Our solar ovens work by collecting sunlight and concentrating it into this box. The energy from the light is absorbed, increasing the motion of the molecules within the objects that are in the box. This increases the temperature and is the source of heat that cooks your food. However, we will have to be patient. It may take a little more time to cook than traditional ovens. Some other things to consider is that the black paper in the bottom of the box here it's perfect for absorbing light waves, and that's why it's at the bottom, to help heat up the food. While the aluminum foil along the back here is reflective and helps bounce the light rays and focus them towards the food, as we can see with the laser pointer there. This plastic wrap that we have over the food as well helps hold in the heat. You will also want some sort of object, like this skewer stick, to help uh, prop up the back of your solar oven and to set the correct angle. Solar ovens are all about correct positioning in the sun. One trick that will help find the best position is to use a laser pointer. Simply hold the pointer to where about the sun is located in the sky. Reminder, do not look at the sun. Point it at the reflective side of the oven and adjust it until the reflected light is on the food. Then you'll know that the light will bounce off and hit your food. Now, a few things that are incredibly important to keep in mind when making your solar oven and cooking. If you're cooking something such as eggs or meat, have a food thermometer so you can make sure the food cooks all the way. Or better yet, just avoid these foods altogether and stick to something that can be safely eaten cold, like our marshmallow here, and chocolate and graham crackers. These ovens, while capable of cooking many amazing things, are still not the hottest oven and may not cook things all the way through. If this is the case, there could be foodborne diseases still present. Exactly, making you very sick. So try to cook things all the way through. Also, you need to be extremely careful when you're cutting your box and not to cut yourself. And if you're struggling and have any issues with that, please get a parent or guardian to help you with the cuts. Alrighty, we are here up on the planetarium rooftop. It is a beautiful day, a little cloudy, but perfectly sunny. It's been about an hour. Tony, how is our s'mores doing? Well, my hands just got gross, but one of them melted, as you can see. Nice. There's some goo on the stuff there. Um, the other one didn't melt very much, if at all. Probably because of just directing sunlight. Uh, this area got a lot more. Uh, but yeah, we have one that most likely due to just how we angled the sunlight. Alrighty, well, yeah, so if we were to give this more time, maybe or... they would have cooked faster. So don't forget to share your uh, solar ovens with us through social media by using the hashtag Clark Plantarium and hashtag engineering challenge. Check our website for updated information on planetarium hours. And thank you again for watching. Happy engineering.